bitch Don't give it your poor Don't cut up on the show Don't fuck it with the boys I don't hold them for the shit All cars from the party set is Check it up, and check it out now. Is that trouble in V Loan Paradise now? I'm telling y'all, man, there's people about to cry because they got a V Loan shit on. Niggas be having their well, all these fashion niggas, you know, they really committed to their clothes. Anyway, a lot of people saw the video of ASAP Bari. Okay, I remember the ASAP mob, and they saw a video where him and a woman and two other people were in a room, and he was slapping a chick's ass, and she was like not clothed, and he was telling her. You fuck my sister, you better come suck this dick. Now, a lot of people say, wow, that is wildly out of line. Especially coming from the guy who pinned Ian Carter to the cross for allegedly, like, going against the will of women. Okay? Now, here's the thing, because people are wondering what's going to be the blowback. Okay? Are the companies that are in business with ASAP Bar, is he going to drop him? How is the rest of the mob going to react? How is ASAP Rocky going to react? We see that Ian Connor is saying this is karma. What is going to happen? Now, what has happened is at Agenda 2017, it's clear that either ASAP Rocky or somebody else is taking a stance on it because while performing Telephone's Call, which is the hit song by the mob, they change up a couple lines to seemingly diss him. All right. Now, it was coming out of the first verse, which is the first verse is by ASAP Rocky. And in the regular verse, ASAP Rocky says, Telephone call from young Cardi said it's lit. Call the young lord ASAP Bari. He legit. Now, somehow on stage, and y'all just heard it, that shit got changed to say, Telephone calls from young Cardi said it's lit. Call the young lord ASAP Bari. He a bitch. Okay. Now, Again, this is just pretty much bad all around. It might get to the point that ASAP Rocky has to pick a side. And when I mean a side, are you rocking with your guy through these turbulent times? Or are you going to say, man, I'm going to throw him to the wolves? Now, we don't even know if whatever was said or if this whole bitch thing was said in regards to the situation that happened with Bari. It was definitely said by somebody with a mic. We're not too sure if it's said by ASAP Rocky. I don't know if ASAP Rocky has a great relationship with ASAP Bari. It seems like it's been turbulent at times, but this is where you're going to see where people's allegiance lie. And also, it's kind of hard for niggas to defend Bari on this situation, right? It looks flagrantly wrong, and he put out a PR apology or a statement. He got to do a little bit more than that. People got to see that you're sincere. People got to see that you're contrite and that you're really sorry for what you did and that you understand understand the severity of it because at first you said it was a fake video and then the next time you said yo yo y'all respect each other and respect women and you respect yourself and you put up the peace sign people don't feel like you're sorry so i think you'll have to get that in check but until then man all these is just blowback of that one 15 second clip that has clearly affected asap bari's whole livelihood and will continue to do so despite him saying that him and the chick is cool now in the comments, which you guys like, then subscribe to Wish Academics. Bye -bye.